Can you do me a quick favor and just tell everybody that's watching this video here just to make sure they subscribe to this YouTube channel and then go follow me on all of my social medias? Absolutely. Hey, everyone. If you've enjoyed this chat, make sure to subscribe to Josh's channel and hit that follow button on all his social media. Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here, and this right here is the Acer Swift 14 AI laptop. Huge thanks and shout out to Qualcomm Snapdragon for going ahead and sending this out for us to take a look at here on the channel and for sending me my very first laptop since like 2007, I believe it is. Okay, so real quick, just to be completely honest with you guys, I am still kind of in, I guess you would say the learning process, or not really the learning process, but just trying to get the hang of things when it comes to using this laptop right here. Because like I said, I have not owned a laptop since 2007. So it's been almost 20 years now that I've used a laptop. I have used my smartphone for literally everything, for running this channel, everything that I do, has all been done on a smartphone, even when it comes to you know editing my videos, recording my videos like I am right now, everything has been done on my smartphone. So when I got this laptop here, I'm like, okay, I really gotta put some work in and just really learn how to use this and just get into the flow of things when it comes to using a laptop. Like I said, back in 2007 is when I got this bad boy right here. It was a gift from my parents, an old Toshiba laptop. I mean, look at how thick this thing is. And you know, looking at this, going back to this, and seeing what we have now, just comparing the two, just by looks alone, I mean, you can really see how far laptops have come. And this thing, this thing is heavy. It weighs a ton, you know, compared to the, uh, you know, Acer Swift 14 AI right here. Beautiful laptop. And yeah, like I said, I mean, 2007. You can see how far we have come. So yes, I am an old man. This one even has a CD player in it. I don't think you see those in laptops uh, nowadays anymore. I'm, at least I'm not really sure to be completely honest with you, but huge thanks to Snapdragon for sending me out my first laptop since 2007. And I've actually really been enjoying the experience with this laptop right here. So forgive me if there's you know a few things that I don't talk about in this video or don't cover, because like I said, I'm still in that learning process, but I still want to share what my experience has been like so far uh, with this laptop right here and just using it for what I've been so far. It's actually been an amazing experience. Now, I really have nothing to compare it to except for, you know, an old laptop that's almost 20 years old, which I'm not going to do that comparison because nobody's using a laptop uh, that old anymore. So yeah, we'll just uh, leave that out of the picture for now. But when it comes to the Acer Swift 14 AI laptop right here, just going over some of the specs here, this does have a 14.5 inch 2.5K 120 hertz display. And let me tell you, it is abs an absolutely beautiful display. Now, 14.5 inches that we're getting, honestly, for me i mean it's more than big enough i really don't see myself needing anything bigger than that i know there are some people who do like a bigger laptop but at least for me personally especially with this being my first laptop in a super long time i mean i find that 14.5 inches to be more than enough for me but absolutely beautiful display even you know when just looking at the home screen or if i'm watching content on this display i love watching netflix disney plus i love watching content here on this laptop right here because of how great this display looks right here and it gets nice and bright as well but one really cool thing about this display that i like is that it is a touchscreen display as you can see here now i'm not sure if there's a lot of laptops out there that have touchscreen displays like this one right here. But I mean, I think this is actually pretty cool because as some of you may know, some things are a lot easier to do when just being able to tap the screen instead of having to use the cursor to get to certain things. At least with my experience so far, just from using this laptop, I have noticed that, that sometimes it's just easier, you know, to tap on something or scroll through something just using my finger alone rather than, you know, moving the cursor, you know, to get to where it is that I need to go. So the fact that this is a touchscreen display, it's really, really nice. It's a nice touch when it comes to this display right here. But aside from the display, I mean, just the whole laptop alone, it's absolutely beautiful, super, super thin, and it does have a 180 degree hinge. So it opens up completely flat, as you can see there. Really, really nice, super thin, super lightweight, fits easily in my backpack if I decide to take this anywhere with me. Now, I don't have, I didn't get that full uh, legit unboxing experience because uh, Snapdragon actually sent this out in like a special package, which I did upload here on the channel. And that package did come with a nice little carrying case like this. Now, I'm not sure if this right here actually comes with this laptop when you purchase it, but I thought I'd go ahead and share that. And you can see my whole unboxing experience right here. Just, you know, just a little quick video that I I did just join what that unboxing experience was like with this laptop right here. Like I said, it was a special package uh, from Snapdragon. So just a 
a cool little unboxing experience there. But this does support Wi-Fi 7. It's got up to 12 core CPU, 3.8 teraflops GPU, 45 tops NPU. It's got a quad HD camera with facial recognition that actually works really, really good. And low blue light iSafe certified 2.0. Now, when it comes to the ports, on this laptop right here. Over here on the left side, we are getting a USB uh, type A and two USB type C inputs over on the right side. We do get a headphone jack, which is nice, and another USB type A charging port as well. And then we are also getting a stereo speaker system on here. And let me tell you, the speakers on this laptop actually sound really, really good. Like I said, I'm already enjoying the experience when watching content on this laptop right here. But aside from just the visuals and how it looks, the sound as well actually sounds really good. And the speakers get more than loud enough. Now, another cool feature about this laptop is it actually has a fingerprint scanner on the power button. So all I gotta do, is just tap my thumb on there and it works instantly. It works really, really good. Let's try it again, one more time. Bam, just a quick tap and it unlocks locks it for you. So not only do you have facial recognition, but you're also getting in, uh, not in display fingerprint sensor, but a on power button a <laughs> fingerprint sensor that works really, really good. Okay, now battery life. Now, let me just say this. There has been a few times where I've been able to go a few days without, you know, needing to charge this laptop because, you know, during the week I am at work, you know, most of my day. So I'm not constantly using this laptop every single day, all day throughout my day. But on those days where I am heavily using this laptop, I'm still easily able to make it through a full day. I can charge it up at night and it's ready for me the next day. So battery life on this definitely gets me through an entire day. And not only that, but it's also got 65 watt fast charging. So I'm also able to get some super fast charging speeds as well. If I need to just quickly plug it in and charge it up, hey, I'm ready to go uh, really quick. So it's got great battery life and great charging speeds as well. And one uh, thing that's helping the battery life here is that Snapdragon X Elite processor that we are getting in this laptop right here. Huge shout out to Snapdragon. But yes, this is powered by that Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite processor. It's running the Qualcomm Orion DecaCore 3.4 gigahertz. It's got Qualcomm Adreno GPU shared memory, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and one terabyte of storage. You can't really go wrong with this laptop because for me personally, my experience, like I said, I really have nothing to compare this to because like I said, this is kind of like my first laptop after almost 20 years. It's been treating me good. I mean, I've been getting a lot of great usage out of this laptop. I've been able to edit a video on this laptop for the first time ever editing a video on a laptop because like I said, I use my smartphone for everything to edit all of my videos. So it was kind of a fun, a little bit frustrating at first, I'll, I'll be honest, because it was my first time editing a video on a laptop. So there was a whole learning curve and I just used a simple app like CapCut, you know, nothing crazy or anything like that. But at the same time, it was fun. It was nice learning how to, you know, do something new on something like this, you know, a device like this that I haven't used in so many, so many years. So just being able to edit a video on here, it was nice and it came out pretty good as well for my very first time editing a video on a laptop. Yes, it did take a bit longer than usual, but like I said, it's just a whole learning curve thing. And even up to now, I am still learning, but I mean, it handles everything that I do on here so far, whether it's just jotting down some notes, surfing the, the internet, running really, really smooth, no matter you know if I'm going internet page to you know page to page, uh, whether I'm Googling something or you know going on the Acer website or the Snapdragon website or whatever it is, it is, it is I'm doing or checking my you know social media, this laptop has been handling it all really, really good. Performance has been great and just super smooth, especially like I said, this is you know a 120 hertz display. So you're getting some super smoothness going on in there. Now I did test out some gaming on this laptop right here. I've never gamed on a laptop before. I, mean, I believe there was one time at CES, I tried doing some PC gaming and I just, I was not good at it at all. But you know, I thought I'd go ahead and just try it out on here. I did sign up for the Xbox Game Pass. I also, uh, you know, downloaded a few games on here. Now, one thing that I did notice is that games like uh, Call of Duty Warzone or Fortnite, it was able to download the games, but for some reason it would just not play them. So I don't believe that those games are playable on a laptop like this. I mean, it's not a gaming laptop, which I understand, but for some reason it just, it was not playing those games for me. But when it came to, you know, other simpler games like Asphalt 8, it was able to play that great, nice and smoothly. It looks great on this display. Um, all of the Xbox Game Pass games, it was able to play on this laptop as well. Of course, that is cloud gaming. I'm not really downloading the games onto the laptop. So that's, you know, one reason it is able to play those games. But when it does come to playing those games, 
They played really smooth on this laptop. I really didn't have any problem. It really just comes down to, you know, what your internet connection is like, if it's good or if it's bad. Uh, but overall, I mean, the experience has been great. Now, one really, really cool thing I like about this laptop right here is, you know, some of the AI features that they have on here and one of those being Copilot. So it actually has its own dedicated button here called Copilot. It's like your own AI assistant and it actually works really good. And it kind of reminds me of like, Jarvis or Friday from Iron Man, you know, he has his own AI assistant helping him out with everything that he does. And it, you know, his, that AI just talks to him like as if it's another person. And that's kind of like what Copilot is, at least for me. So I'm gonna have a little conversation here so you guys can hear. Let me make sure my volume is all the way up on this laptop so you guys can hear and let's check it out. So it's got a little microphone right here. You can either type what you want to Copilot if you don't want to talk or you can press the little microphone and start talking. Hey Josh, I'm here. Hey Copilot, how you doing? So I'm currently in the process of making a video just kind of sharing what it's like to have a conversation with you. Do you want to go ahead and say what's up to everybody here on camera? Hey YouTube, it's Copilot. I'm Josh's AI companion, here to chat, share some knowledge, and keep things interesting. So what's on your mind today? <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> Thanks, Copilot. I appreciate that. Wait a minute. How did you know I was recording a YouTube video and not maybe a video for TikTok or Instagram? Lucky guess. Seriously, though, it could have been any kind of video. I'm just here rolling with your vibe. If we were making a video right now, what would you want to talk about? Um, let's see. Well, this is currently just a little sample test to show my viewers what it's like to talk to you, to show how good of an assistant you are. So why not give me a few videos, a, a few video ideas about the Acer Swift 14 AI laptop? Sure thing, Josh. Here are a few ideas for the Acer Swift 14 AI laptop. Number one, deep dive into AI features. Walk through the specific AI-powered features and show how they enhance user experience from intelligent performance management to smart connectivity. Number two, design and build quality review. Focus on the laptop's design aesthetics, build materials, compare it to other laptops in okay, its Okay, co hold on. Let me interrupt you there. I, I'm so sorry for interrupting you. Um, I thank you for that. Thank you so much for, you know, you know, hooking it up with some video ideas there. But just really quick, can you do me a quick favor and just tell everybody that's watching this video here just to make sure they subscribe to this YouTube channel and then go follow me on all of my social medias that is linked down in the description below? Absolutely. Hey, everyone. If you've enjoyed this chat, make sure to subscribe to Josh's channel and hit that follow button on all his social media. Links are right down in the description. Thanks for the love. Thanks, Copilot. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to have to let you go now so I can finish up this video talking about this beautiful laptop that you are currently trapped in. <laughs> so go ahead and say uh, bye to all of the viewers. Got it. Bye, everyone. And Josh, enjoy showing off that laptop. Talk soon. Thanks, Copilot. Talk to you later. So as you can see, I mean, it's almost like talking to a real person. Yeah, it does kind of sound a little robotic here in there. I mean, it's still currently, you know, in that learning process. But for a little, you know, AI assistant like this, that's just able to talk to you and have a conversation back and forth with you. It's actually really cool. And it's nice that Copilot was actually able to give me video ideas for this laptop right here. So now I can go back, I can actually scroll back in our conversation and see what all of Copilot's suggestions were when it came to, you know, video ideas for this laptop right here. So I can be able to make more videos for you guys covering this laptop. So when it comes to Copilot, this is actually one of my favorite features here on the Acer Swift 14 AI laptop. Just a really, really cool feature. Now, of course, there are other AI features when it comes to this laptop right here. And another really cool feature on this laptop right here when it comes to AI is in the painting app. So you got an image creator or co-creator. And this is basically going to help you, you know, create an image or co-create an image. It'll help you along the way. And it actually has an option here at the bottom that will let you describe what it is that you're trying to create. So you're gonna describe what it is that you're trying to create. You're gonna draw it out or paint it out or whatever as close as you can or as best as you can. And then this other little screen over here, it's going to 
basically give you a better version of what you are trying to create. That's where the whole AI comes in using that Snapdragon XLE processor on here. And it's really going to help you out in creating that specific image. So just another little cool AI feature right here when it comes to this laptop. But like I said earlier, I mean, I am still in the learning process uh, of this laptop right here. And just, I know there's still a lot that I need to learn about this, but so far when it just comes to the basics and, you know, like I said, just, you know, using it for social media, using it for a little bit of work, video editing when using that Copilot AI assistant to help me out with some things, a little bit of gaming, watching content, just when it comes to all those, you know, basic things, it's been performing great. My experience has been really, really good with this laptop. I really don't have too much bad to say about it other than not being able to play those, you know, bigger games, like I said, Call of Duty, Warzone, or Fortnite. But other than that, I mean, it's been it's been an amazing laptop. It's been great, beautiful display. I can't get over how good the display looks on this laptop right here. And then when it comes to just using the keyboard here on the laptop, I mean, it's it's a pretty nice typing experience. I guess I, I could say that I feel maybe the keys should be just a little bit more spaced out. I kind of feel like my, my hands are a little too close together. I mean, I'm still able to type out what I need to type out with, you know, very few mistakes, but I feel like maybe Maybe they could be spread out just a little bit wider, but it's also got some LED lights on the bottom of those. So if you do happen to be using it at night, you can easily see, you know, the keys when typing on this keyboard right here. So overall, even the typing experience is pretty good as well. But that is it for me. Like I said, I am still going to continue using this, do an even deeper dive into this and uh, maybe, you know, check out some of those video ideas that Copilot had for me so I can share some more stuff with you guys about this laptop here on the channel. But y'all let me know what you think down in the description below. If you do have this laptop for yourself, how's that been holding up for you so far? Or if you have maybe been looking at getting this laptop and picking one up for yourself, uh, let me know how my video helped you out. Did it help you out? Did it not? Like I said, I know I'm not the most experienced when it comes to laptop reviews, but like I said, I just had to share what my experience has been like so far here with the Acer Swift 14 AI laptop. So y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If there's anything else you would like me to cover about this laptop, also let me know down in the comments so I can go ahead and make a note of that and you know, jot down some video ideas so, so I can do more coverage on this laptop for you guys. But like I said, if you do wanna pick one up for yourself, hit those links down in the description below or use the YouTube shopping as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Thanks for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.